Hi everyone, welcome back to another house tour. Hope you all are doing well. In my today's video, sharing with you all an amazing four-bedroom detached property. This is Manford from Taylor Wimpy. So stay tuned and watch this video till the end. It could be useful to you. This is located in Leeds. Now going with the floor plans, in the ground floor you have the garage, living room, study, kitchen with dining and the washroom. On the first floor you have four bedrooms with the master bedroom having the ensuite facilities and the common family bathroom. Now as you enter the house you'll find a spacious hall in front of you with various partitions made towards your first floor, living, kitchen and dining space. So first let's check out the living room which is coming towards the front end. As you can see it's a beautiful living room with a really good space. Towards the front you're getting a wide window which is covering the entire wall. So plenty of natural light falling in the living room. The space is quite decent. You can easily plan two to three sofa sets and there's plenty of room space to walk around. I also like the idea of this glass door coming in between here. Uh, the way towards the dining space. You actually have another entrance through the hallway towards kitchen. If you need some privacy, you can use a curtain here, but otherwise if you leave it open like this uh, you feel connected to the kitchen and dining space which is a good thing simple interiors nice ventilation overall a decent living room now let's move towards the kitchen and dining space which are coming behind this living room these glass doors are white and uh, they look quite stylish and they're opening towards the dining space which is a good thing but if you plan a dining table immediately after the doors you know you you don't have space to walk around it might get congested so if you plan a table towards the other corner then in between if it's free you'll have good garden access through these french doors provided here and you can actually enjoy the space so it's again up to you how you plan your dining area if you can see it's a quite lengthy kitchen with dining space towards one side you can completely use it as a dining area and towards the other side you have the kitchen space and as usual you'll get a nice comfortable garden with fence around it now exploring the kitchen side as you can see it's a lengthy kitchen and the space is quite okay two to three people can easily stand and use the space comfortably the worktop is uh, given in l shape and it's spread out and towards the kitchen side you get a wide window so plenty of natural light falling in the kitchen you also get cabinets uh, at the bottom and even on the top And towards the right side they gave this integrated fridge, freezer and oven and this is included in the price. Just taking you around and showing you few things in detail. So they'll be providing you this 5 burner gas hob and if you want to go for the upgraded version of the electric you can go for it. And you'll be getting the boiler here in the kitchen. If you're interested in going uh, for the upgraded version of this granite and quartz worktop, you can choose that. But otherwise, they normally provide you with the basic worktops. And here in the kitchen, they didn't give the space for the washing machine and dryer. It's coming in the washroom. I'll be sharing with you all later. But if you feel uh, like planning it here, you can tell them and they can plan the washing machine for you in the kitchen, which is quite ideal for me. Overall, a decent kitchen with really good space and uh, ventilation. Uh, I also like the door uh, given in the kitchen. They gave this glass door inside. And just as you come out towards the right side, you have this small storage space. You can plan some kind of storage here. And towards the front, uh, just opposite to your living room, you'll be getting this study. 
the space is quite okay you can use it as a, a visitors room if you want to or study or plan something else you're still getting a nice window so the ventilation is good even in this study now just beside the study you're getting the washroom here in the ground floor um, the space is given in length you have the water closet sink and they have given an exhaust so you're not getting a window in this washroom and they also provide the space for the washing machine and dryer in this washroom here to be honest with you i prefer having the washing machine and dryer you know in the kitchen somewhere where it's well ventilated and separate not inside the washroom do let me know whether you like these kind of washrooms with a washing machine and dryer fitted in so we covered all the rooms in the ground floor now let's move towards the first floor and check out the rooms there so on the first floor we have four bedrooms with the master bedroom having the ensuite facilities and a common family bathroom first exploring the master bedroom of the house so this is the master bedroom of the house it's a double bedroom but the shape of the room is slightly different uh, you can plan a double cot bed like this and there's enough room space to walk around you're getting big windows in length so plenty of natural light falling in the bedroom and towards the opposite side they plant these wardrobes here so that's actually occupying a lot of space but again if you have a wardrobe in the bedroom you can plant plenty of storage towards the front end you have some decent space to walk around and you're getting your washroom here towards the front you have walk-in shower water closet sink and the window in the bathroom also is given in length but the ventilation is good in this bathroom nowadays most of the builders are actually providing this head shower and hand shower which is a good feature overall a decent bathroom the space inside is quite okay so this was the master bedroom of the house let's check out other bedrooms in this property so just beside this master bedroom you have the second bedroom of the house which is again a double bedroom so you can plan a double cot like this and there's a really good space to walk around towards one side you have a wide window so plenty of light falling in this bedroom Now towards the opposite side if you want you can plan a wardrobe and this is going inside the wall so it doesn't occupy the extra room space which is a good thing overall a decent uh, second bedroom with good space Now beside the second bedroom you're getting the family bathroom. Again as you can see the space is quite okay. You have the bathtub, a water closet sink and there's a nice window even in this bathroom. So the ventilation is really good. Now beside the family bathroom you'll be getting the third bedroom of the house. The shape of this room is slightly different. It's actually smaller than the double bedroom and uh, slightly bigger than the single room. You can plan a small cot like this and use it as a kids room or a computer room, gaming room, anything you want to. You're still getting a nice window in this bedroom so the ventilation is good. Now moving towards the fourth bedroom of the house. 
this is again a double bedroom you can plan a double cot like this and there's really good room space to walk around towards one side they plan the wardrobes and uh, towards the opposite side you're getting a big window again this window is given in length so plenty of light and good ventilation in this room Now for this show home you'll be getting this double garage which is uh, visible to this window here but normally you'll get a single garage beside the house and this is the wardrobe space here so you can actually plan a very big wardrobe like this uh, on the entire wall overall a decent bedroom Now just before finishing I want to show you all even the water heater which is fitted in here in this space they have given the door and lock and this is coming beside the master bedroom. So we covered all the rooms in this property. It's a different four bedroom house. Again it's up to you to decide uh, whether it suits you or not. This is all for now. I hope you liked watching my today's video. Do give me your suggestions and feedback in the comment section. I would love to hear from you. Also, if you're watching my channel for the first time and if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to hit that subscribe button and feel free to activate the bell icon at the bottom so that you won't miss out on my future uploads. Stay safe, stay connected. See you in another vlog.